Philadelphia 76 ERS Joel Embiid, front right, of Cameroon, makes his move against Los Angeles Lakers Andrew Bogut, left, of Australia, during the second half of an NBA basketball game, Thursday, December 7, 2017, in Philadelphia. AP photo slash Chris Sigola. Philadelphia Lavar Ball was holding court outside the Lakers locker room when he spotted two of his sons goofing around with the seven-footer in the white sweatshirt. Ball, the preposterous patriarch of LA basketball's foolhardy family, had just dissed the president in their ongoing Twitter feud. But in the presence of the player nicknamed The Process, even Ball knew it was wise to play nice with Joel Embiid. Embiid. Come on boy, make me some noise. Ball yelled, as he pulled Embiid in for a bro hug. Don't be scared Ball placed his hand on Embiid's shoulder and offered a bit of fatherly advice, here's the smart thing. Don't worry about nobody on the outside. You just keep playing and doing your thing. Embiid nodded and laughed as he walked away from the powwow and headed down the dingy concourse, the Philadelphia 76 ERS center needing tips from Ball on basketball about as much as Martin Truex Jr. Needs racing lessons from an Uber driver. Embiid has been doing his thing just fine as the big baller in the middle for the Sixers and has posted the kind of numbers, 23.5 points slash 11-1 rebounds, that should turn the social media star into an NBA all-star. Embiid has been healthy, durable, and dominant, a clutch reason the Sixers are 13-11 and in the thick of Eastern Conference playoff contention for the first time in five years. Oh yeah, and he's had help. Ben Simmons, the no.1 overall pick of the 2016 draft, has been better than advertised in his rookie season. Simmons had already the third triple-double of his career with 12 points, 13 rebounds and 15 assists against the Lakers. Simmons, fourth in the league in assists, joined Hall of Famers Oscar Robertson and Magic Johnson as the only rookies to have at least three triple-doubles through their first 23 games. More big thrills are surely on the way. The Sixers are still a work in process as the process becomes something more than a code name for a demoralizing rebuild that stripped the franchise of quality players in exchange for cheap talent and draft picks. Embiid and Simmons proved the process can pay substantial dividends. Yalo Okafor, Nerlens Noel and, perhaps, 2017 No. 1 pick Mark L. Foltz proved the path to a title can come with more rocky terrain ahead. But the NBA has put on watch that the 76 ERS are on a playoff push. We have a focus on where we're going, team president Brian Colangelo said. We have a clear definition of what that looks like. At its peak, it looks like it did against the Lakers. Lakers forward Kyle Kuzma drove the lane and went high with his right hand for a layup. Embiid saw the rookie coming and barely left his feet to use his right hand and swat the ball directly to Simmons. Embiid stared at the fallen Kuzma as Simmons took off on a fast break. Simmons dribbled to just inside the three-point line when he made a left-handed, no-look bounce pass behind him to a charging Rishon Holmes for a thunderous dunk that brought another raucous sellout crowd of 20,495 to its feet. The Philadelphia 76 ERS is must-see TV right now, TNT analyst and Hall of Famer Shaquille O'Neal said during the broadcast.